after I started to talk about this being dyslexic, and as I researched it, I have to really look at it and say, it's an asset. Um, and I think the asset is that when I had to read something, I had to read it five times. When, uh, you know, I got the, saw the opportunity of co-op to go to school one week and work the other, I went to work. I always just visualized and concentrated on things because maybe the theory is we're not getting, you know, dyslexics don't get caught up reading books and reading how it should be done and go out and execute how it should be done. Right. And it's funny, you know, I walk in a room, especially I'll, I'll do a speaking game for 5,000 people. I'll say, how many people in here are dyslexic? Nobody Four raised. people raise their hand, mm -hmm. right? And it's usually the CEOs and very, very powerful people that raise their hands, but people that work within environments, they're, they're ashamed they're and they're afraid and they don't say it. And then I start to give them the stats about Will Smith and Tom Cruise and mm -hmm. myself and the Four Sharks. And, and then all of a sudden everybody's in the room just like raising mm -hmm. their hand. So, um, but I just want obviously to bring this awareness to people. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. Absolutely not. And, uh, you know, uh, we want to make sure that people get, you know, get tested if they feel that, you know, there's a challenge, there's a learning challenge.